Marvi, talks between Russia and North Korea about a potential arms deal are, quote, actively advancing. United States National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has warned Pyongyang that it will pay a price if it sells weapons to Moscow to further its war in Ukraine. Sullivan did not elaborate on the consequences it would impose if Pyongyang provide weapons to Russia. U.S. Department of State spokesperson Vaden Patel also gave a warning and said that Washington will take appropriate steps as necessary. Previous sanctions imposed by the United States has forced Russia to look for other sources of weapons elsewhere, Patel said. The official also believes that it shows the effectiveness of the U.S. sanctions. Russia refused to comment on the potential direct talks between Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. A defense and military analyst said, however, there is a possibility the two leaders will meet next week as both sides have things to offer each other and are also both under Western pressure and sanctions. Meanwhile, the Biden administration will continue to persuade Pyongyang not to supply weapons to Moscow. They are now going about looking to whatever source they can find for things like artillery ammunition. That's what we see going on now, and we will continue to call it out, and we will continue to call on North Korea to abide by its public commitments not to supply weapons to Russia that will end up killing Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Back to you, Marvi. Thank you, Anne Gonzalez, reporting live from Vietnam.